so happy to see the both of you, Thank two you. people I love and adore, who are in what I think is one of the best films of the year. Yay. I am thrilled, thrilled that you are here. Yay. Now, I should say, happy holidays. Now, is I right, is this correct information I've been given here, Margot, that you used to be a professional gift wrapper? Ooh. Is that right? Professional would be a generous. OK. I was paid to do it. Ah. I was probably, like, ten. Oh. I was at my friend's dad's pharmacy, but I love gift wrapping. I love, okay. I love presents. May I, I love... send you mine? But I, honestly, <laughs> happily. I love doing it. And as they say, if you... What do they say? You do, do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So I, I barely even consider it work. It was... Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> now, Jean, I am told you have big plans for New Year's Eve. <gasps> I what are we doing do. on New Year's Eve? I was invited by Anderson Cooper to come and be with him at the ball drop. <gasps> in Times Square. In Times Square. I know, I know. With Anderson Cooper, yes. you missed that part out. Yes. So, hang on, you're, are you going to be on TV or are you just going to be off screen drinking a drink, going, well, look at this Apparently ball. now they don't let them get drunk on camera anymore. Well, they say that here. <laughs> they say that here, Jean. We had some... boss, but we'll have a little flask, you know, something. just purely for medicinal purposes. Yeah. You know. Because yeah. is that, am I right just in thinking there was warm. a year where they got too drunk? Is that right? Was uh, there a year uh, they got too drunk? Apparently, yes. Yeah. But... No, they're adorable. What, do you, what will you be doing New Year's Eve, Marco? Do you know yet? I think I'm going to be with friends. I'm not sure yet. Plans have not been... But I'm definitely not going to be in Times Square. That sounds insane. Are you going to be, like, physically outside? Yeah, on the podium up there, the two of them. Up where they're doing the broadcast, yes, you'll be there. Apparently, yes. Yeah, I think you're going to have a plan. Well, I have to find a coat that... I mean, if they knew how much I hate being cold... I, I'm freezing to death in Los Angeles, so they're, they have to appreciate the fact that I'm doing this because I love them like both. It sounds like it might not be a very happy love... new year for you. This... Well, I think you've got to go full. So... Uh, it's just layering at this. At it's got to be goose down. I think down it's to your just ankles. layering. I think it's yes. a beer jacket. A beer jacket. What's a beer jacket. You know, if you drink enough, then you're not cold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing here. <laughs> That's it. Was that, my, was that the Australian in me coming I out think, just there? That, I think, yeah, mate, don't you worry about me. Oh, i got my beer jacket, mate. <laughs> no, I don't even need a shirt, mate. i got my beer jacket on. It's going to be absolutely fine. Shut up. <laughs> yes. Now, Gina, I want to talk to you about this. In a past life, you were quite the volleyball player. Now, how good are we talking? Oh, so it was a very brief period. A very brief period. I was very young. But how good I, were you? Well, I was the only... I was the MVP, but only because I was the only person on the team who could serve overhand. <laughs> for, for, for a volleyball team, that's pathetic. I was going to say, don't you need to be able to do that? I was, I was, I was married at the time to, to my first husband. He was in the Marine Corps. And I was in Japan, and, and all the daughters and wives put together a bad news bears kind of team. <laughs> Right. But we, pl we did OK, yeah. Can I tell okay. you what this is making me think? No. This moment now... <laughs> this moment now is making me very excited for the next Top Gun. <laughs> because I could actually think of nothing better mm -hmm. than Mavericks out there and who rocks in Gene Smart, the only player who can serve overhand. <laughs> yeah, but that compares nothing to your first Japanese guest. <laughs> Can you I think that? your first guest could serve anything over Can him. you believe that oh my guy? God. Can you believe, have you seen what him before? Oh, I've oh. seen well, him on the internet for years. Yeah. The amount of practice it's in the nude. What do you think he puts <laughs> as his like, occupation on like paperwork and stuff? Like burlesque? Or, like, what do you classify that? What he does is amazing. I just don't know what it's it is. It's extraordinary to spend that much time <laughs> going... Yeah. Oh, you almost saw my penis. It's... <laughs> it is... I mean, you can't help but beautiful. think oh! that it might happen. Yeah. It's... it's, it's is he it's... married? Do we know? <laughs> Not that I'm interested. No, I, I hear what you're saying. What you're saying is, <laughs> was... can he serve overhand? I get it. <laughs> I get it. You bring the volley, yeah. he'll bring the balls, Gene. Yeah. Don't you worry. <laughs> now... Margot, you started acting as a, as a teen when you were on Neighbours, but you mm -hmm. always had a bit of drama in you, even as a child. Yes. Explain to us the story of what happened to you and your babysitter. I was a very dramatic child. I, had, I was very upset one time 
my mum swapped babysitters to, you know, we used to have, I loved my babysitters so, so much. And we got this older lady, suddenly was our babysitter for some reason, and I threw down because I wanted Talia back so bad. Talia was like a high school student and so cool and fun. Didn't want this mean lady babysitter. Anyways, she told me to go have a bath. I was like, no, we got into a bit of a fight about that. And then I thought in my head, well, I'll show you. And so I went and got ketchup, like tomato <gasps> sauce, and a kitchen knife, and I lay on the tiles, naked, covered in tomato sauce and ketchup, <laughs> and waited waited till she found me. <laughs> and she was an older lady, like she was, you know, probably definitely in her 70s, so it was uh, probably hey, not smart careful. to... Older, I said, not Yeah, old. yeah. <laughs> older than she, the previous Older dinner. than the previous mm. babysitter. Yes. And, How um, long did you have to wait? Like 45 minutes. <laughs> she oh, by the way, she really should have come and checked on me sooner. I could have been drowning in that bath. But anyways, I was committed, I stayed in character the whole time, played dead, and it was so worth it. The reaction was... And what did she do? What did she do? Oh, she freaked out. Oh, she, I love that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She never. I never saw her again. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jean, back in the early days, uh, when you were living in New York City, you had a nickname. You were called the Thug Whisperer. Now, <laughs> how does what? one get such a name, and what does it mean? A, a couple friends came up with that because I gained a reputation for being in very, very dicey situations in the wrong place at the wrong time, very, very, very late at night, and just sort of talking my way out of it. Like, for instance, one time I was with a, a, a guy, and we were in Central Park, and we were on top of one of those big, giant boulders, and uh, a guy climbed up, and he said, OK, you know, give me your jewelry, give me your watch, give me your oh. stuff. And I thought, well, why would... Why should I give you anything? You show me a gun or something, I'll be really polite. I'll give you whatever you want. But <laughs> you're, you're gonna show me even a weapon? Yeah. I said, why, why should we just hand stuff over? Yeah. You know, and of course my friend is thinking, oh God, I'm the guy, I have to do something, you know? And I start screaming at this guy. I said, just leave us alone or I'm gonna start screaming bloody murder. <gasps> and he got so offended. He was just so take, taken away. He said, what do you mean, murder? I just want your jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> he was so offended by that. But I, I did that several times. So I... And therein <laughs> lies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the thug whisperer. Stick around. <laughs> we'll be still in the